Dr. Joubert, we have probably done eight segments on toxicity mm -hmm. in the house and in the workplace. Yes, at least. And we've talked about, I mean, it's pretty scary if you'd listen to all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you and I both have a problem that's kind of mutual, and that is when we get into talking to people about things, they always say, well, what proof do you have? <laughs> Now, Isn't that the truth? can you give me an example of some sort of scientific proof that some of these toxins do absolutely create the havoc we're talking about? Well, probably the most pointed example that I can give briefly is that um, there was a very famous tox toxicologist, Dr. Gunnar Hoosier, who's at UCLA Medical Center and in private practice as well. And he was one of the people uh, instrumental in helping Aaron Brockovich win the case yes. in the famous movie, Aaron Brockovich. And um, he did an analysis, he and I lectured together at one point, and did an analysis of an, an, a PET and a SPEC scan of the brain. And that was taking a, taking a, a patient or a subject uh, prior to any kind of a toxic exposure, and then an hour later, so they showed the scan, and then an hour later, after exposure to, for instance, a synthetic fragrance that's a, that's a neurotoxin, right? Mm -hmm. And you can actually see the brain cells starting to die and the lack of oxygen in the brain, and that's within one hour. So that, to me, is the best proof. And I, actually, I've received permission to put that in my course, in the Holistic Skin and Body Rejuvenation course that I teach, because I want, for the same reason, I want to be able to give the medical validation for the fact that we do have neurotoxins in chemicals. Now Meaning that, we have, that it kills brain cells, it damages brain cells. Now that we have the neurotoxin, mm -hmm. were you able to show that anything works on Absolutely. that toxin? Absolutely, and that was the most exciting part of it, is that then he administered, uh, I believe it was 4,000 milligrams of powdered vitamin C in a little bit of warm water. So vitamin C, as we know, is a tremendous antioxidant. So people yep. say, oh, that's just a lot of hype, why do we need vitamin C? Well, this is proof. Because by administering it, now mind you, high doses of vitamin C can cause one bout of loose stools. But if you're exposed to a neurotoxin, who cares, right? The body is purging. And so by administering the 4,000 milligrams, which is what I do with my patients when they have an allergic response, including myself, there's always a little vial of one teaspoon of vitamin C in my handbag. If you put it in warm water and you swish it around in your mouth and swallow it, it'll immediately add the oxygen. So when they took the PET and the SPEC scan afterwards, an hour later, the brain had started to get the oxygen back in, and those, those cells then have what they need to continue to multiply and to thrive and to be healthy. So you're able to reverse it from one hour to another with the vitamin C in the high dose. That's terrific. I'd like to come back and talk a little bit more about supplementation for some of these problems. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome.